Hello viewers and in this video I will demonstrate how to set up a precision approach practice session and the goal is to have the aircraft start already in the air just beyond a star arrival waypoint with the full ILS approach yeah let's do ILS approach tonight since most people know what an ILS approach is let's with a full ILS approach load it into its flight computer and because we set it up just right the in-game ATC will also recognize this flight plan and give sensible vectors to the gamer enabling them to fly the approach from the star to the runway with minimal ATC weirdness right and giving you a better immersion process but first let's manage some expectations one I'm not a real pilot so nothing in here I say is instructional and everything I say is mere entertainment Right. Secondly, this video is not a comprehensive tutorial on how to set up a Garmin system, nor does it use real-time, updated, latest, greatest, real-world approaches data. Right. My goal here tonight is just how to set things up quickly in this flight planning screen so that it's preloaded into the computer of your aircraft using only stock features found in the game, no third-party add-ons. And I'm trying to get this video done in less than five minutes, but it's already been one minute, so let's begin. First things first, set up your arrival airport. I'm just going to choose my buddy's home airport in Us Elsund. Elsund. Sorry man if I'm mispronouncing your beloved home airport, but Echo November Alpha Lima. For on the top left, select IFR. Let's do low altitude airways, right? It's just a practice session. On the right, select your runway. You'll be ILS 240 tonight. And we'll leave the arrivals as direct because we're not flying the whole star. We're going to start where the star ends and pick it up so that we only need to look at the approach plate. Okay, next we need to change how we look at the waypoints, right? So here's where it gets interesting. Press F, Foxtrot, or over here, open filters. Window pops up, scroll all the way to the bottom. Go to the fix and RNAV position report. Switch that to on. Hit backspace. Now, homo dots appear. And Bidut is the entry point for this ILS uh, approach. So just go f a little bit beyond, double click, and set that random point as the departure. So this will be how you'll be flying tonight. Take a screenshot. Uh, All right. Next, I'm going to go to nav log and set. 6,000 is fine. We'll accept 6,000. Uh, and with that, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to click fly. You know, it's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to have this... Uh, I'm going to have this as a nighttime approach. Maybe 6 p.m. All right, click fly. It's going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video here. And uh, we'll, pick, uh, we'll pick up when it's in the air and ready to fly. Okay, we're in the air and we are ready to fly. So I'm going to click fly and then immediately activate active pause by pressing the pause key. Ready? So three, two, one, ready to fly and active pause. Engine, engage. East one zero, you are two zero miles northeast. Descend and maintain 4,600 feet. Keep speed below two four zero knots. Expect ILS runway two four approach via B dot transition. Clear to B dot. This is actually good news. Engine, eight, one, zero, descend and maintain. 4,600 feet, keep speed below 220 knots. Be careful what you wish for, huh? You want ATC? Descend and maintain 4,600 feet, keep speed below 220 knots. Expect ILS runway 24 approach via B.Transition, clear to B.Exec. Well, guys, you wanted ATC to play along, so you have to be prepared for ATC to nag at you all the time. Now, that initial ATC call by ATC is... Hold on while I turn on heat, otherwise things will get crazy here in a second. Okay. Things have already gone crazy. P.Hube is already frozen. Anyhow, while that heats up, this is why it's important to go to active pause because you need to set up the aircraft and make sure the aircraft is set up before you initiate your approach. Now, the initial ATC call was really important because it shows that the ATC has recognized your flight plan and therefore is less likely to be weird uh, when guiding you in. So first step, while in active pause, go to slew mode in Y, press Y key. We need to face southwest. So come around to 220 or thereabouts. Um, I use the numlock 
3 or 1 to rotate the aircraft in. Also, right now, I'm going to press F1 to bring me Sync down rate. to 4,600. F4 to come up a bit. That's good enough. Press Y in back into the cockpit and active pause. So right now, the next step is to set up your aircraft. The following actions are longitude specific only. First thing is to speed to manage mode. Speed of 219 is good. Auto ground spoilers norm. Um, auto throttle engage. Set up my PFT in the way I like it. Okay. V approach, we are a little light. Let's do 130 as V approach. And my nav source should be GPS. That's fairly important. Okay. Um, flight plan is loaded. You know what? Let me do the other save view. Flight plan is loaded. Altitude 4006 on hold. Autopilot oh. off, but directors on. Autopilot back on again. Nav mode. Heading synchronized. I'm gonna go on heading mode to be more stabilized. Mm. Wait, that was gear down. We don't need gear down just yet. Zoom up to ensure that the flight plan is loaded. So that's really nice. Right, so the flight plan is loaded into the Garmin and we are about ready. So this is when I will disengage active pause and fly the approach. Now this this uh, video will not include the actual approach because you know this is just to show you how to set up. And the best part about this is, let's say you fly the approach and you're on the ground and you want to do this again, all you have to do is to come to restart hit escape key, come to restart, and you can practice one more time and practice as many times as you need.